<laughs> Apparently we're having a photo up. Uh, this, is, this is a different sort of reading. Um, most readings, poets will bring a body of work and they'll just share it one at a time. And people kind of nod off a little bit. And it gets real tiring sometimes. So we decided to do something different. Uh, this reading is based in prompts and collaboration. Um, our mission is to <clears throat> break down barriers within the artistic community, to dissolve the line between performers and audience, and to make poetry as accessible and entertaining as kitty cat videos. That is our official mission statement, and um, we hope that you guys will give us some feedback to let us know if we're accomplishing that. Um, our theme tonight is New Beginnings, which is apt since this is our beginning. Um, <laughs> We gave the poets a prompt uh, before the reading started, and our prompt tonight was provided by Lisa Galloway, and it is the biggest lie I ever told. Um, Lisa, talk to us, we have a prize for you. Um, and so you'll hear those poems in the second half. In the first half, we're going to see some showcase works, pieces that the poets brought that they just wanted to share with all of you. And um, Brenda will be introducing them as they come up and talking about their illustrious histories, things like that. Um, we also have a very big part of our mission involving audience participation. That's where you guys get to come in. We decided for this piece, um, we would take a famous love poem written by E.E. E. Cummings, and we would turn it into a Mad Lib. Everybody know what a Mad Lib is? Okay. Um, so with a Mad Lib, you have to take words and fill them into random blanks. So, I need a verb. Come on. Running. Running. How about we'll change it to run, because it works with the phrase. Uh, now. Go. 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 Um, and we need another noun right after that, so we'll do matrix. Color. Color, all right. Uh, um, I need two verbs. Spit. Spit. Clap. What was that one? Clap. Clap. All right. I need a term of endearment. Boo-boo okay. cakes. Boo-boo cakes. <laughs> all right. Okay. And another term of endearment. Marshmallow. Marshmallow. Oh. All right. Um, another verb. Verbs. Fall. Spew. Fall. Crawl. Crawl. Fall. Crawl. 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 All right. And I heard spew. <laughs> um, another term of endearment. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. Food terms. All right. Um, all right. Another noun. Bridesmaid. Bridesmaid. <laughs> That's a good one. I like that. Um, another term of endearment. This is a love poem. Heart of my heart. Heart of my heart. All right. <laughs> I will, uh, I will mark it down. Um, a noun, please. Refrigerator. Refrigerator. Verb. And the noun to go with that. Alright, another noun? 
the dream that this year will be the year. That this year the failed writer will no longer be failed. That this year he will not have red tear stained eyes. That this year the lonely drunk will no longer be lonely. And this year he will no longer be drunk on booze, but on her scent, her taste, the touch of her skin, the song of her gas when he's inside. That this year will be the year of old Lang Syne. Happiness. <laughs> Happiness is a green and white parcel with an Australian customs form glued to the outside and you open it and find photos and letters written in a child's hand, handmade cards full of paint, markers, stickers of fairies and red hearts, glitter designs pasted on the outside and inside is a note that thanks you for the books and a note that says, I love you, Dad. It is to hear your daughter laugh as you make funny faces into your laptop camera lens over the virtual Wi-Fi lines of Skype. It can be looking over a pint of beer and vague vegan nachos at her blue eyes and lips that smile as they part to admit a blue corn chip. It can be a bottle of Jamison. Its amber liquid burn joy burns down your throat as you suck it in, spread its warmth, into your thirsty stomach. It could be a blonde stranger who walks up to you while you piss drunk at three in the morning on the corner of Second and Ash. Her white shirt formed against broadless tips. Her faded blue jeans molded to the dimples of her ass as she gives you a deep kiss before she disappears into the milling crowd. Happiness can be a lover's mouth against your ear, lips surround your lobe, teeth click against the silver hoop as you sigh, gasp when her palm surrounds you. It can be a woman as she shivers beneath the slow caress of the tip of your tongue. It can be burying yourself within her body, on top, behind, in her mouth as she controls the rhythm of your movements, controls the moment the gates open. It can be masturbation, an attempt to evade for a few moments the loneliness as your hand slides up and down the hardened mushroom shaft as you splutter into your tissue the release. It can be looking into your fat face in the steam layered bathroom mirror and not breaking your fucking knuckles upon your reflection. Happiness can simply be the fact that you lived. Another day without sliding a knife across your skin, painting scars across your arm, or splitting open veins to spill your life into the boiled water of a bathtub, or swallow more pills than you need to drift off into the forever sleep, or lashing a manila line to coat out back, feel its coarse brown fibers scratch your neck as you stretch it from its branches or putting the oil muzzle of a 45 between your clenched jaws and jamming a bullet into your brain. Happiness sometimes just be survival.